so can I nope 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 <laughs> <laughs> my tractor saves me from radiation. I am not playing with that right now. I don't need five arms growing out of every different nook and cranny of my body. That just doesn't sound like a good idea. For the people who saw last episode, this place was completely empty. And there was a grinder up here or the shredder or whatever that was shredding everything. So I promised I would build this whole place back up from bare bones all the way up to what it was. Now, that's gone and it has been since replaced with arguably a monstrosity, but it's a functional monstrosity. And even though it doesn't quite make sense, it makes total sense in that it doesn't make sense. This episode, my goal is to actually do two things. The first is to unlock all of my new tier, or should I say old tier, milestones. All of them. They're all going to be done right now because I'm making all of the things. Anything I can make, I'm making. Here it comes, perfect timing. Right back into position. Come on, touch back down, buddy. You're gonna be taking off here in like five seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect, let's load it up. And then it can get the heck out of here. Okay, bye. Have a fun time in space. Milestone reached. The next thing I actually wanna do is take a look at the power tower with the platform. So I need steel beams for that. I need a lot of wire and I need a lot of concrete. See, because these power towers, I have an idea with them. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. If any, if everyone hasn't already guessed it, my plan is to go out and explore, see what the world has to offer. And I brought enough resources that I could actually start establishing a series of electric poles, the giant one, because somebody told me this zip line can connect to electrical wires. And if they can connect to electrical wires, I'm actually setting up a highway for me to get from place to place. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to set up a new zip line highway that will lead me from one end of the map to the other end of the map and back again. Now, the problem with that is it takes a long time to get to the other side of the map. They're just more big bugs! Give me my Xenobat! Give me the Xenobat! Ha! A really long time, at least if I'm going on foot. So, I've decided that I have a tractor, I might as well use it. Now, I don't know how this works, so we're gonna figure it out together. So, I want to build a little... Oh, it is little. I thought it was gonna be huge. Like a monstrous thing. It's tiny. It's almost adorable. Look how small this is. And then I can drive it? No. Well, it has headlights. It has power. Drive tractor. Is it just out of fuel? Maybe it's a lot like... Oh, yeah, it is. Look. And it has a crafting bench built into it? That's actually going to be really helpful. That's good to know. Oh, okay. So I can actually add some fuel into this thing. And it looks like this is a little storage slot. So we've established that. Now the next thing we need to do is pick a direction. Best way to pick a direction, pull up the map, see where I haven't been. So I think I'm going to go straight off to the right. Now the next thing I need to do is establish a place to set up my highway. Power. Power tower with a platform. Perfect. So I can build this right here. And I kind of want it just like that, I think. That's going to be good. And then I can run this down underneath of this just like so. So now this is actually hooked up to our power. I don't know if these need to be hooked up to power in order for them to function as like a zip line highway or not, but I'm not gonna question it. If that's what I need to do, then that's what I'm going to do. My other question is, if I hold that in place and I go and I drive my little truck, can I actually get that to extend further? Because if I can, life is good. Oh no, I can't drive the truck. Well, let's let's figure this out first. Okay, cool. It's just WASD. That works. So nothing special. I can control my camera. Uh, I can change my camera. It doesn't do anything. It just resets it. Oh, that's a hill. I got to remember not to take this off too many jumps. <laughs> I'm going to guess that this isn't the most durable thing ever. Well, we're about to find out. Actually, it may not be as rough of uh, flipping this as I thought. Because I thought maybe it would be a little top-heavy and it would just flip over. Doesn't seem to be. 
The good news is I figured out the extent to which the wire can stretch right there. There, that's where it maxes out, and then here I can build, so... That's a pretty sizable distance, honestly. I'm not certain I'm ever really going to need that kind of a range, but it's going to work amazingly as a highway, I think. The other thing I've kind of realized is this truck is not a viable source of transportation when it comes to trying to build myself a little industrial uh, causeway, let's say. So if I'm going to actually build that highway, I'm going to need the zip line to do it. Because I'm going to have to go from one to the other and then build another one way off in the distance, zip over there and build and build and build and so on and so forth. So instead, I'm going to continue my journey on my little tractor and forget about the highway for now. And then I'm just going to continue on and see what this world has to offer. Look at this place. You can't tell me that that wouldn't be an amazing place to live. I mean, besides the fact that the environment is probably extremely hostile and there's all sorts of weird aliens that are trying to maul you to death. But, I mean, other than that, it's gorgeous. Come on! <laughs> I'm prepared for something like you now! I'm warning you! Ugh. Dang. Reload. Reload faster. I'm gonna have to lead that shot. Oh, there's two of them! No! Okay. I totally have this, but I'm gonna have to rely on... Possibly my a uh, little bit of maneuverability and finding them one at a time. No, little one. No, the little ones. There's too many little ones. Okay. Oh, the big one is just throwing around my truck. <laughs> Let's stop it now. Let's not. It's you, my friend. You can just get away from me. <laughs> ah, this may, seems cheap, but trust me, if I was down there, I'd be getting mauled. Come on. Yeah, stunned it right in its tracks. No, bad. Reload. I wish it would just automatically reload. Where's the big one? Actually, let's deal with the little one right a second. There goes another little one. I'm kind of getting hurt pretty bad, but I think I'm okay. Where's the big one? Where's the big one? I'm kind of worried. I don't know where the big one went. Oh, it's over there. Come on. I've been waiting for this rematch for a long time. Don't keep me waiting. Urgh. Yes! That was it, right? Yes, that's it. Ooh, three different hog remains for that one. And I did all of that for a yellow slug. Boy, that doesn't feel like it was worth it. Is this one different? Holy crap, that thing's weird. It like springs in and then springs out. Oh, and it can climb over top of my my tractor. Oh, this one is weird. It is different. Well, it's going to have to... Huh! <laughs> it will. It's going to kill me if I'm not careful. I don't know what the difference is between this one and the other one. Ow, 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 ow. Besides the fact that it hurts real, real bad. The other one just was kind of bad. This one sucks. I can hear it. I am terrified. I don't know where it went. I'm hoping I kind of locked it in place. I already know that that rebar gun is not the greatest. It's right here. Yes! You're, come on! You're gonna have to turn around! Oh, <gasps> beat it! I beat it! Ooh. Okay, whatever this one is, it had five. The other one is only a three. Oh, hey, look. There's another one. Can I kind of get it into a situation where it'll just throw itself off of an edge and not me? No, apparently not. Hop on. Nope. Hop up. No. Hop up. Drive. 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 Just get out of here. This thing is definitely going to attack me. It's right under me. Hey. No. 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 Just. 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 Just get it stunned. Stun it real good and dance around this thing. I gotta stun it! Stun it! Ha, ha. Use it again! <laughs> yeah, I've used all of it! Where is it? It's right behind me! Ha. Yes! Oh! <laughs> no! I hate these things. I hate them. I hate them. I, I, with a fiery passion, I despise them. This place seems weird. Seems like all the color has kind of been sucked out of it. I don't know if that's intentional or if something kind of busted. 
Would it be stupid of me to drive through this? The other question is, would it be stupid of me to swim in this? I'm not loving this, but I think this is what I'm going to have to do. So let's actually clear out some space. Okay, let's see. Did I do the dumb? Oh no, it handles like a dream in this swamp. Actually, way better than... What? How am I being hurt? What am I being hurt by? Is there radiation or something? I hate that it never tells me. Oh, actually, those pods are probably emitting toxic... Uh, oh, crap! These... Ah, there's a big one! There's a big one! Oh, look out, everybody! Ah. <laughs> I'm not even arachnophobic, and this is terrifying! Drive the tractor! Let's run this crap over. <laughs> Oh no, it's just lodged in my wheels. Not ideal, but hey, you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I found all kinds of awesome secrets now. And a couple not so awesome secrets. Mainly big bugs. Ouch! Will you get off of me? They're just more big bugs! Give me my Xeno bat! Give me the Xeno bat! Ha! Now scarf down barrel nuts. As many of them as I can eat. All in one sitting. Just get away from me. These bugs are horrible. I will not die to this giant bug. I refuse to die to giant bugs. The little ones are going to be probably the death of me. Get over here. Yes, that one's gone. Now where's the little one? I'm going to enjoy eating you when I get home. <laughs> I am sick and tired of being attacked constantly. Screw you, Swamp. I'm out of here. You will not be missed. Holy crap. When it's toxic even to the animals that live there, because they were all dropping dead as I was making my way out of there, that place is horrible. I hated it. It was bad. I'm never going back. Where does it end? Because it just seems to keep giving. There seems to be more. This map is giant. So when people said, I will never run out of space, build as big as I want. You weren't exaggerating. I don't think I could ever physically run out of space. I think I just found a sea of sand. So when I was saying before it was super desert, I was wrong. This is super desert. Welcome to super desert. This is insane. Where am I on the map? I guess I just keep going this way forever now until I find something new. The only thing I had to do is right my tractor a little bit as I jumped each of the dunes. Other than that, though, really nice. I appreciate the desert, especially after coming out of that horrible swamp. Have I mentioned that? Because it was bad. Either way, though, I think it's time to head home because I am sick and tired of fighting for my life out here every step of the way. Because if it's not the animals, it's the environment. Well, I didn't really find any new or unique resources, but I did find a lot of new and unique places. I love how every environment is a little different. So whoever is making this game and developing it, I can tell they've put so much love into this, and it makes me so happy to be able to play this game. It didn't need to be like this, but they did it. Honestly, I'm grateful they did, as well as it seems like a lot of people are grateful they did. So kudos to them. Now we're officially home, and I can leave this tractor parked right where it belongs, right here. I am very happy about how productive that was. The one thing I'm not very happy about is that phase two isn't done yet. It should have been based on my calculations. We were gone long enough that it should have completed. I'm a little concerned about that if I'm being honest, but not too concerned because we have other things that we're doing. Mainly a little while ago, I noticed something that I could open up a ship it had a hard drive in it. I don't know what the hard drive is for. I wanted to wait that way I could show everyone what the hard drive is. Let's see. We're going to scan this thing. I don't know how long it's going to take. Oh, 
10 minutes, apparently. I guess that makes sense. From what I've been told, I think the hard drives are really good. I had a hard drive that I was to, what is this? Oh, I see. So instead of using screws, it's an alternate recipe. I can use copper wire, which actually would be way easier to make. I honestly believe that the stitched iron plate is probably gonna be my best bet. Now, I might be wrong, but guess what? That's okay, because I have another hard drive. I've now unlocked the Nobelisk. It's time to find some sulfur and coal, mix that together, and make some explosive. I've got some places to go find in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care. And goodbye!